the majestic giants of the sea may soon be extinct. That's if action is not taken to protect whales, dolphins and porpoises. More than 300 scientists have signed a letter highlighting the imminent dangers of extinction. They're calling for development and funding to protect the species. To discuss this in more detail, I'm joined by Craig Smith, the senior manager of WWF South Africa's marine program. Craig, great to have you on the show. Um, so in the 70s and 80s, whales received a lot of attention during protests over commercial whaling. What does the picture look like now, globally, and for South African whales in terms of population and conservation? Good afternoon, Anneli, and good afternoon to the viewers. Yes, um, there has been a stage in, in, in whale history where it's been particularly problematic for whales where due, due to whaling, and uh, we've seen, witnessed almost the extinction of a number of species. And there was some light at the end of the tunnel when whaling was banned in many countries, including South Africa, um, in 1979. And um, in some cases, we've seen the recovery of, of, of some whale stocks. But unfortunately, that's not the case for, for all species. Um, a number of species are still um, critically endangered and, and face extinction in the near future if no drastic action is taken. Hmm. So lack of action means certain species could become extinct during our lifetime. What's the knock-on ecological effect of one species becoming extinct? The, the, um, some of them are not being quantified, um, and that's the, that's the problem we have when we play a Russian related to the marine ecosystem. Um, all the species are in some way interdependent. And removing one particular species does not leave a vacuum. Another species will take its place. Uh, you could see ecosystem shifts, um, as we witnessed in um, Namibia, uh, with the reduction of sardine as a, as a cornerstone species. Um, so certainly it's not in our interest to, to be removing species. We need to promote biodiversity um, to ensure that there's resilience in these ecosystems particularly in the light of climate change, which is the next big worry uh, facing these majestic animals. Mm. So one of the current biggest threats to whales is accidental capture in fishing nets. So how do we change commercial fishing practices to safeguard whales and dolphins and porpoises? Yes, so this um, it needs a bit of innovative thinking for starters. So there are a few fisheries where whales are caught as, as bycatch, or they incidental catches. Um, we have a, 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 a whale, it's another whale, a shark um, barrier um, in KZN in Durban, mm. uh, the shark nets that are deployed there, and those accidentally, they catch dolphins. And um, we need to look at innovative ways in terms of, can we remove the nets? Um, I know that the sharks would have moved towards drum lines to reduce nets and thereby reducing the, the catches of dolphins. Uh, but is there a possibility that the nets and drumlines can be abolished uh, for more environmentally um, suitable um, mechanisms such as um, currently being uh, piloted is the shark safe um, barrier, which is an environmentally friendly uh, system that uses magnets. And so there's no um, catching of sharks, no catching of turtles or dolphins. Uh, so that's something that, that holds a lot of promise um, to reduce dolphin catch. Um, but also in some of our other fisheries, we have um, the octopus fishery, which is currently an experimental fishery in South Africa, which uses a long line of pots. And unfortunately, there has been whales that have been caught entangled in these, in these pot lines. Um, so WWF, in collaboration with uh, UCT, is looking at innovative systems where we can use uh, acoustic release buoys or time release buoys to limit the surface time of these ropes and therefore limit the, the time that these ropes can entangle and ensnare, ensnare whales. So that's, that's some of the, the work that's underway. Um, but there's also some innocuous fisheries, not fisheries, but um, ecotourism, for example. So boat-based whale watching, um, which sounds all friendly, uh, but these disrupt the animals' um, migration patterns in terms of the, also the breeding um, and also the calving. So um, South Africa is also looking at ways in which we can um, further refine these guidelines to ensure that um, boat-based whale watching is done responsibly mm -hmm. and sustainably 
um, that causes minimal disturbance to these animals when they're visiting um, our shores. Craig, I, I want to find out, yesterday a whale uh, washed up or was stranded on a beach in Strandfontein. Um, we know from um, interviews that ENCA has done that that whale was possibly had died two days before um, washing up on the beach. Is, is that a common occurrence? There was speculation that this whale seemed to be undersized, that malnutrition could have played a role. And then in, at the same time, before I let you go, I, I also would like you to comment on, um, on, on sonar and, and the effect that so, the use of sonar during military exercises has on whale populations and their migratory patterns. Yes, I've seen some footage yesterday of the whale washing ashore. Um, so it's a, it's a humpback whale. Um, and it looks from the footage, yes, it has been dead for, for, for a while, a few days at least. And um, I, with these strong southeasterly winds that have been blowing, um, that animal has been, been washed ashore because of the winds. Um, the cause of death, um, that needs to be investigated. Um, it could be because of a ship strike. I did not see any ropes or anything mm -hmm. entangled on the whale's carcass. Um, but I'm sure in terms of the, the stomach contents would also need to be analysed because the issue of pollution is becoming a major threat to whales, particularly plastic pollution. And given the, the feeding behaviour of whales, they can ingest a lot of plastic, and plastic then accumulates in the digestive tracts of these animals and causing them um, to, to basically starve to death. And, and that, that is a, a, a problem that is now being witnessed um, the world over. All right, thank you very much. That was Craig Smith from WWF South Africa.